Hi, this is Steve Harris. I got some awesome battery technology to show you today. You're going to want this. These two batteries, these are USB batteries that you plug your USB cable into to recharge your phone. Both of these batteries are like the ones I recommend that you get, especially this one, the Lime Fuel. You would be a fool to travel without one of these. But I'm about to show you something that's even better than these, and that is this battery. This is called the Pronto 12. Whereas these are lithium ion battery technologies and they basically have individual cells in them lined up to produce their voltage. This is lithium polymer technology. Basically you can think of this as being all one cell. And lithium polymer has other advantages over lithium ion as I'm about to show you and astonish you. Literally. You're going to be astonished what this thing can do. So these are good, and these, of course, are USB outputs. They're USB 5 volts, and this is USB output as well, USB 1, USB 2, and they're both 2.4 amp high rated ports. This has one other advantage. You can plug in this adapter here, and it's now 12 volts. Yeah, you got it. Not only does this provide 5 volt USB power, it tw provides 12 volt power. And I'm about to astonish you with what you can do with this. Now what would you use this for? Well one of the things you would use this for is if you had an Iridium satellite phone. Iridium satellite phones and some other satellite phones don't have USB inputs on them. They have 12 volt only inputs on them. So you can plug them to the wall and it converts it to 12 volts and goes into the Iridium phone. If you don't know an Iridium phone, it's a worldwide global satellite phone. It works anywhere in the world, literally anywhere. And they're very popular with adventurers. You climbing Mount Everest, you're on an Iridium. But, you know, they only have a limited battery life. And this is a great way to extend the battery life of the Iridium. And uh, to give you an idea of size capacities, you know, the phone capacity is under 2,000 milliamp hours. That's the size of the battery in here. This is a 20,000 milliamp hour battery. Yeah, so it's literally 10 times the size of this. This is 15,000 milliamp hour battery, and this is a 13,000 milliamp hour battery. So they're all in the same class with each other. Uh, the other differences, this is a plastic case. This is a metal case. And this is one fine piece of jewelry and I'll start showing you some of the other nifty things about it. Here's one of the other really neat things you can do with this. So you know you got two USB ports here. Let's say there's a bunch of you traveling. I had a guy write to me and there were six of them traveling to Ireland. He wanted to have things to power everyone at once. They sit down in a pub, they want to plug in the battery and recharge your phones. Well you can take one of these and ta-da! You now have three USB ports plus these two. You get five USB ports. Or wait, there's more. You take this one with four ports and now I got a total of six ports. Now I could put a Y adapter on here and do even more, but that's getting to be kind of ridiculous. This isn't a lightsaber, okay? It's got a lot of power in it, but it's not a lightsaber, so don't think it's going to power the entire world for you. But it will rock your world when it comes to powering that cell phone, I can guarantee you that. So this is just one example of some of the neat things you can do. Okay, charging this, or let's say pouring electricity into this, is very much like pouring water from a bottle. I can pour it directly into here, then once it's in here, I can pour it directly back out. Now I can pour it out right away, I can pour it out at the same rate that I put it in there at, or I can pour it out real gently, okay? So once I pour it into here, I can pour it out fast, medium, or slow, just like a water bottle. Lithium ions do this fairly well, but this lithium polymer battery does it extraordinary. I'm about to show you on paper and then show you in real what I mean about this. Here we go. Um, Here's one of the things that's so amazing about this battery is let's say I put five minutes of charge into it right here and this is from the wall charger. I can then power my smartphone for about one whole complete charge. So suck up five minutes of energy into here and then slowly pour it out 
into my smartphone at the rate the smartphone will take and it'll get one complete charge. If I charge this battery for a full 60 minutes, I'm going to get about seven charges out of it into my iPhone. So one full hour in this is going to be about seven charges into this. Five minutes into this is going to be one full charge into this. And I'll show you an example of that right now. Here I have a compact fluorescent lamp. And this is like a work lamp for a vehicle. It runs off of 12 volts, a cigarette lighter plug. Now I'm not saying this is something that you would plug into here in case of emergency. This would be like your last ditch thing you would go to in an emergency to run this off of this because this light takes a fair amount of power, about 13 watts. And this, that would be almost a full amp from the 12 volts on here. I'm just showing this to you as a demonstration of what, how good this thing sucks up energy and dumps it back out. Okay, as you can see, I am on and it is completely dead. D-E-A-D. -E There's nothing in this battery. I drained it last night completely. Now, I am going to start my phone. And I'm going to take the plug here, which is coming from this wall adapter, and I'm going to plug this in for 30 seconds. Go. Oops, turn this off. And I'm going to let this run for 30 seconds. Now, I'm only going to put 30 seconds of energy into this. Again, this is like me dumping water in, in here as water in here as fast as I can go. I'm going to do this for 30 seconds, and then I'm going to show you that this thing is going to light up. And work and then I'm going to show you for how long so here we come four three two one okay done now I'm going to turn this on Ta -da! it is running now the question is how long is this going to run for and I'm going to put this clock right here it's at uh, 12 o'clock and I'm going to show you how long this runs for okay and the answer is four minutes it ran light ran for just about four minutes and that was 30 seconds into here four minutes out of here that would be like the equivalent of charging the phone off of two or three usb ports at the same time so that's a lot of energy coming into this light i wanted to show you what i mean by you can pour the energy in and then let it dribble out at whatever rate you want high rate medium rate or low rate but wait, there is more. This was done off of the 120 wall outlet. Now this power adapter for this is a worldwide voltage adapter, 240 to 100, and, uh, to 100 volts. So 120 US to 220, 240 volts anywhere in the world. So you gotta do is use one of my adapter plugs and you can run this around the world. If you haven't seen the cell phone video at cellphone1234.com, you need to see the cell phone video. You will never have a dead battery again, no matter where you are in the world. I cover like 14 different ways of charging. Now, speaking of charging, I am going to, uh, but I'm gonna show you more, as I said, but wait, there's more. What if you don't have a 12, 120 to 240 volt source available to you, what would you do? What if your car or a car battery in your home or mobile battery bank was your only option for charging? Well, I will show you. You can, let's see, let's get this over here. You can take this and what this is, is two uh, clamps to a cigarette lighter adapter. And I will clamp this on to negative <laughs> my fingers don't want to work. Clamp this on to positive. Here's my 12 volt outlet plug. I will then take in a pocket inverter. It converts 12 volts to 120 volts. And I will then take this and plug it in. And I will take, sorry, I take that and plug it in. And then I will plug this in. And there we go. It is now charging. We're going from 12 volt battery through the clamp adapter down here to 120 volts, 120 volts through the universal power supply up here into the Pronto 12 and we are charging it directly off of the 12 volt battery. Excuse me, I'm going to have to discharge this to show you the next part.
uh, I forgot to show you this really great feature on this battery. This is the number, this is the amount of charge that is left in the battery. Right now you can see it's blinking one LED out of this whole range here, which means nothing. This is the amount of current flowing in. Are you charging at one amp, two amp, three amps, four amps, or the maximum of four and a half to five amps? That's what this LED means, four and a half to five amps. So you can tell if you're charging slow or charging fast, depending upon what your power source is. Here, we're charging at maximum speed because we're charging off of the wall adapter and it's still plugged into a 12 volt battery. And you can see we got barely nothing in it. We're just on the very lowest part of charging and we're charging up. But now I got to discharge this to show you the next great feature. You're gonna love this. Let's say you are with the military, Department of Defense, you're a contractor, contracting on a whole variety of different things, doesn't matter what, or you're really big in the world travel for business or personal, or you're with a church group doing missionary work someplace in the third world or other remote spots, and Ahmed will come by in this car and you're going to stop him and pay him to stay there for five minutes for you or stay there for you for a whole hour so you can charge up this battery and, and others. And th that is a good thing. Sorry about that. My cat got something out of my box full of stuff and I was playing with it like one of my chargers. I had to get it. So Ahmed comes by in his Toyota and you stop him and say, hey, Ahmed, here's a few dollars. Uh, will you sit here and wait for me for an hour? And he, since they very well might be only making a dollar or two a day, and he said, yeah, sure, I'll make a couple dollars off of sitting here. So you get out your charging stuff, as I show you in the cell phone video, which you should have watched, especially if you're a world traveler or any of if you are any of these, you'd be a fool not to watch the cell phone video. It's a bargain. Um, so anyways, you get out and you're charging up everything. You're charging up, you're dumping energy as fast as you can into the lime fuel battery. Even though one hour won't charge this, you're dumping as much into it as you can. You're charging this all the way up in one hour. And you're also at the same time putting energy off of Ahmed's battery on his truck into your cell phone. So you're charging everything at once and you're charging this. This is going to be your big battery bank. Now let's say that you don't want to use the cigarette lighter adapter on the battery with the inverter going to the power supply. Let's say you just want to do it simple. You just want to plug this directly into the 12 volts of this and get your job done. Well, the company who makes this, who are very good friends of mine, they don't have an adapter that goes directly to 12 volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this and we are going to make very quickly and easy without soldering an adapter that will go into here and charge off a of 12 volt. And it's only going to be as big as these two plugs. These two plugs I got off of Amazon. There's links in the website I'm going to give you to Amazon to where to get these off of Amazon so you won't have to go searching for them and I'll show you how to make this right now. I'm going to show you how to make the adapter. I'm going to do it in steps and so as not to bore you but here's the negative end it's black here's the positive end it's red. I'm going to clip the ring terminal off the negative end click the ring terminal off the positive end. There's something for my cat to play with. It just went on the floor. And then I am going to strip these. There you go. I've been doing electronics all my life, so I can take a pair of wire cutters and strip something real quickly like this. And there we go. There's positive and negative. Now I'll do that to the other connector. I did the other one off camera and now you can see we got two cigarette lighter adapters with both of them with stripped ends on them. So I'm going to take red and red and we're going to want to join these together. So I'm just going to spin them like this. I want black and black. I'm going to put these together and twist them like this. So now they're twisted together. I told you no soldering. So I'm going to take a wire nut, and I'll have links to these on Amazon as well. And I'll take a wire nut, and I'm just going to screw it down so my two reds are joined very well. Take one, 
do it on the black and there we go they are very well um, to put together now now I'm going to make it a little bit more permanent for world travel I'm going to use electrical tape and I'm just going to tape this around here and tape this down to the wire and here we go we got them both taped up you didn't need to see me take the time to tape it up so I did it off camera so here's red taped up and the nuts taped to the wire it's not coming off any day soon so it's black now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape fold this over and tape this to the wire like this and tape this side to the wire like this so they're separated from each other and it'll just be one bump in the middle of this cable and you'll be able to travel the world with it and not worry about it coming apart on you and we're done here is the 12 volt cable and you can see I got two cigarette lighter plugs on here and they're connected and it's all taped up it's really durable it's not coming loose even with world travel and take a lot of torque on it too see you remember the way I put these things on it, it's a lot of torque relief in here and it's just not going to come apart on you not easily not even if you beat it around so let's watch this thing work the first thing we're going to do this is a 12 volt output we're going to switch this over to the 12 volt input because that's what that wall charger is is 12 volts i'm going to plug this into here and then i will show you again we have the clamps on the battery going to the cigarette lighter plug here and I'm going to just, there's no inverter, no nothing, no charger. I'm just going to plug this directly in and we're going to look at the charger. Here we are. It's a dead battery or near dead. And believe me, it's dead. I discharged it before I did this. And it's charging at maximum speed of four and a half to five amps. And this is straight off of the car battery. Not... 13.8 volts with the alternator running or anything else or this is straight 12 volts actually it's 12.8 volts but it'll go down running straight into here so this shows you if you got this battery and you're in a foreign country and you get access to someone's car all you gotta do is clamp onto it for one hour and this will hold as I told you seven complete charges of this maybe even a little bit more isn't that amazing for one hour you can get seven of these charges so one hour of charging this from a car battery is almost a week of power for this phone or your satellite phone or your tablet or your game uh, whatever else you got <laughs> it will power it I wanted to show you this to you and show you how flexible about how it is. The next version they come out with might have a version of this cable, but right now they don't. But uh, these connectors cost me five bucks each. They're already pre-wired, and so it's ten bucks for the two of them. Some wire nuts, wire cutters, and some electrical tape. And I am up and operational off of 12 volts anytime, anywhere in the world. You know me, I'm very redundant when it comes to proving things to you. I thought I should prove to you that energy actually went into here. So here I'm plugging in the light. Oops, that's the, out, that's the input. Plug it back into the output. There we go. Up and going. We got power. Now I've shown you everything from there to here to here. It all works.